New at 5.30, two activist groups say an airstrike believed to have been carried out by the U.S.-led coalition overnight targeted a town controlled by al-Qaeda militants in northwestern Syria. If the latest attack is confirmed by the United States, it would be the fourth time that American aircraft have targeted that area in their campaign against the Islamic State group in Syria and Iraq. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio is here to shed some light on the information. The targets have been al-Qaeda, ISIS, but they're kind of the same here, General. Yeah, keeping in mind that ISIS is a splinter group of al-Qaeda. I think what we're seeing here is a resurgence of al-Qaeda trying to get the, the lion's share of what's going on. And unfortunately, or fortunately for us, uh, they're becoming targets equally as, uh, as uh, obviously placed well within the north part of uh, Syria and other parts that we keep targeting ISIS with. Okay, General, between the Americans, French, and Syrians, more than a dozen beheadings have taken place. The United States have said over and over again they're not, not going to negotiate uh, for hostages. Are they softening their stance on this issue? I'm not sure that they're softening their stance. Uh, I'm convinced that we will not be paying ransom. Uh, at the same time, I think we're looking for other options because once you pay ransom, you identify other possibilities that will just keep exacerbating this to the point where everyone's a target for uh, obviously a hostage taking and eventually a beheading. General Dempsey has mentioned some more ground troops. Is that going to happen? I think it will. Unfortunately, I think it will. Uh, when you look at the uh, airstrikes not having the effectiveness that we thought originally, uh, you need to have targets uh, being identified by troops on the ground. You can only do that with ground troops. We're running out of time, General. Quickly, how do you think this is going to play out in the next week or so? I think uh, probably you would see this in the next several weeks. Uh, I think right now immigration is the, the main concern. Right after that, this will be number one.